Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I was planning on doing a completely different video today, but I thought you guys might find this a little bit interesting. Um, I have a problem with my camera adapter. So this is what I use to plug my camera into the wall to record things on the capture card, just to make sure that you know, we're getting a lot better um, uh, video production than just running a standard camera. The problem is, this guy is no longer outputting the proper voltage, and so it's causing my camera to foul up. So I will need to order a new one, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys how using a few spare parts and some components I have laying around in the van, how hopefully we were going to get to the end of this guy and uh, figure out what our major problem is. So first step is, let me show you guys the problem. I'm going to plug this guy into my AC power on the wall. And then the problem is, is that the power is no longer pushing to the right amount. So I'm going to take my um, voltmeter here. And what we're going to do is plug this guy in here just to show the type of power that we're pushing out. And my apologies, but I can't hold this guy up and show you what it is. So I'm going to have to read you guys the output. So right now we're actually outputting it's bouncing between like six and eight. But the fact that it's bouncing like it is, let me see if it's possible to do that. The problem is, is I can't hold all these guys in at the same time. Okay, basically it's not holding the voltage that it should be. And I should be holding about eight volts on this guy. So what we're actually gonna do is I'm going to build a repair for this guy because best I can tell, this is the component that goes into the camera and it is still working so it connects back on uh, on the back side down here and the type of adapter that this is using is a just a very standard uh, adapter that is used for um, any form of connection so i actually have a bunch of these floating around so basically this is just a whole box of them and I have some males and I have some females here. And so what I basically need to do is I need to create a way. Now, um, I need to create a way to get the exact output voltage that I need. So one of the things that I have on board here just as an emergency case is I have a series of adjustable step up and step down converters. So this one is step down which is going to allow me to go from any voltage and go down to any other voltage within that range. And I have another one that is a step up. So this guy, now this one doesn't have a fancy little screen on it, so I will need to plug everything in here and then you spin the knob over here, run it on a voltameter until you get the output. This guy is a step up. So this will go from, uh, 5 volt, if you're putting in as little as 5 volt, it'll step up to 32 volts about, I think. I can't remember exactly what I have this uh, at. Um, and it's a 6 amp rated. This guy here will go anywhere from, um, you can plug it into uh, 24 volt all the way down to like a 2 volt. And I think this one has a, if I remember correctly, it can go actually up to like 10 amps. So what I have to produce is I have to run some power into this guy, adjust the knobs around here so that we are outputting a voltage that is 8 volts and approximately 3 amps. And that should be what the bottom of this guy tells me. And if you remember, we did the video looking at inputs and outputs. So down here, uh, it's basically telling me that we need to make sure that when you look at our mail output, the center is going to be your positive, your outer sheath is going to be your negative, and we need to be at 8 volts and 3 amps. So that's kind of what our goal is. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and use just my um, portable battery pack because this is a temporary fix. I have um, 12 volt 3 amp outputs on the front. So the idea here is I'm just going to use one of the male components, plug the guy in here, run 12 volts through it, running the 12 volt into the input line here 
and then take me a, I think I need another male output on the opposite side. And then we're just going to adjust the voltage to have eight volts and three amps. And then this guy should plug in to the back side of my camera adapter. And this will allow me to run my camera off of battery until I go ahead and get a new AC camera battery adapter. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. All right, so now we have this guy uh, set up. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in. Now, what I don't know exactly is if uh, the adapter here is positive or negative on the front end, but that's okay. We will figure that out. So just double check. This is my in, this is my out. Crank this guy on. And now what it's telling me here is it's telling me right now my output as it is at 11 to six. You can see that right here and so what we're going to do is I just need to adjust our voltage down a little bit all right so there we have it we've adjusted this down so now we're outputting 8.2 volts now what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, hook up my meter here make sure that my output is reading exactly what I need it to be reading uh, particularly we need to make sure that our polarity is correct that could mess up the camera if the uh, polarity is not working right so we're gonna go ahead and plug this guy in here go got this and this and that is pushing out exactly what I need so now we're gonna plug in our battery now the way that your battery works here, you have your four contacts down here. The furthest ones out are your positive and your negative. So we're gonna go ahead and push this one here, this one here, and that is pushing out the same exact uh, voltage. Now the output modulator is telling me 8.02, the voltameter is telling me 8.11. So that should be good. So now we're gonna go ahead and test this out with the camera. And now our camera is once again working. So we have used my little buck converter here, which is designed as uh, just a, um, a regulatable amount, plugging this into my external battery supply. And this is gonna allow me to run my camera for my live streams until I get a replacement uh, one of these guys or Otherwise, figure out what the problem is with my AC adapter to, to see why it's not pushing out the right size. So let's go ahead and get on with our life now. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.